So you guys are all on live on a live screencast. Wave to the camera. And there's my text. So in this channel it's pretty chaotic and uh, you want to um, keep a nice eye out what's been said and stuff like that. But these are great places for support. Now there is text, what people are saying, and there are certain messages that you get when people join or people quit. There you see, you got people uh, waving at the camera. Now in order to uh, chat to uh, more people, you can actually join a second channel. We do this by going back to our server window, slash join um, ubuntu.uk, which is a friendly uh, British channel. It's weird. There should be people in here. There you go. Here again is the list with people that are in here. And here are the messages um, and the text. So we're going to say hello as well. Hello, everyone. Wave to the camera. I'm recording this for a screencast on IRC. This is a cool channel, a lot of cool people here. And you can switch between channels by just basically selecting selecting them on the side here. But you can close that window and use the top tabs. See, people are waving. This is how you wave on IRC. They use these funny icons. So I'll, I'll um, wave my hands as well. There you go. Now, there are some people in here, if I talk to them, if I talk to these people, everybody will see. Whatever I type in this window is something that everybody will see. So we can actually um, also talk in private to certain people. Now, before you start talking in private to certain people, you, have, of course, have to ask them if it's okay. Otherwise, it's considered a little bit rude. So we're going to ask Daubers here. Daubers. Can I talk to you in a private room to demonstrate how slash MSG works? There's Popey playing around with ASCII art. Now, if I want to talk, uh, if I want to address somebody, I can just basically type their name and then hit the tab key and it will actually autocomplete it. I haven't gotten a message back from Dauber, so we're going to take a little bit of a chance and send him a private message. In order to do that, we can actually, again, enter the command to send a private message, which is slash msg. The name of the user, in this case, We'll, we'll talk to Popey because he's harassing us. And then just showing people how one on one chat works. I hit enter, and um, <clears throat> you'll see that um, I'm literally pointing my finger at the screen, which is not uh, something you can see on a screencast, so I'll use the mouse. You can see that I've sent a message to Popey saying, just showing people how one-on-one -on -one chat works. And other people won't see this message. So that is a very nice way to interact with people and um, basically to talk one-on-one. -on -one. And now Popey is saying something back. And what you see is that there is immediately another chat window that's popping open. And this is a room that only has Popey and me in it. Greetings, mighty. Opie, do you want to shamelessly promote your podcast? Since we are busy 
something. It's the least we can do. And uh, he's probably typing something uh, right now. Now, as he is typing that, we're going to go back to um, the Ubuntu room, and I'm going to show you how to leave a room. Now, you can leave a room from um, the rooms window or from the server window, but uh, to make it a little uh, easier or to you know show you other possibilities, we're going to leave the room from the room. So I'm going to leave Ubuntu. And uh, the way I do this is I do slash part and then name of the chat room and bam as you see the Ubuntu tab just closed because I left the room Let's see Popey is saying something <laughs> the Ubuntu UK por uh, podcast is promoting that there's Daubers hello wave to the camera you're on KWTV now uh, I'm going to uh, demonstrate you something else you can actually say something or you can actually do an action in a room and how you do that is by just saying slash me and then the action that you're doing waves to poppy uh, to daubers Ooh. enter and there you see nightwise waves to daubers we do this in the uh, general chat room. Surround the universe. And there you see it gets a funny color and it's an action. So you see sometimes people say things, sometimes people um, do things and it you know keeps the event animated keeps everything animated Dolphers wake waves back and if I want to uh, leave this room as well I just do uh, part oh part Dolphers nope that's not it sorry part that's not it <laughs> okay uh, <clears throat> how to leave a private chat basically just right click and close <laughs> the part only goes for channels sorry my bad there well everybody can make a mistake but this is how you basically uh, join a server and connect to a channel and do a private chat we'll go uh, into detail for over about some um, more commands on IRC as I show you uh, how it works in other clients so next up we're gonna try to uh, install an IRC client on Linux, <clears throat> run it over the command line and uh, chat to IRC servers and to other IRC users in other IRC chat rooms. That's for the next part. Next up, it's IRC under Linux. We've taken a look at using IRC in Windows, and now Linux is up next. I have a Ubuntu installation here, 9.10, but you can do it with any version, older version of Ubuntu. Most of the applications that we're going to talk about are available in all the distros. There are two ways to use IRC. There's a graphical way, and there is a text-based way, or a command line-based way. The graphical way is, of course, nice if you're sitting behind the system, but the command line way is even more interesting if you have an incoming SSA connection, like we talked uh, about in the previous episodes of KWTV, where I showed you how to set up a server. Now, we're going to start out by showing you the command line way, and to do that, we need to open up the terminal. Now, the command line application that we're going to talk about is called IRSSI. So we're going to install that one, sudo apt-get install irssi. Oops, one s too much. There you go. The screen a little larger here. So you can see it's uh, it has installed it. Might be uh, the case that you have to enter your root password, of course, but I've done so earlier. And in order to set up IRSSI, the only thing that we have to do is type in the command. 
There you go. Doesn't look very exciting, and it doesn't really tell you what to do. Uh, as a side, as opposed to uh, the uh, graphical client that we just talked to, but this makes it even more simple. We need to know one extra command, and that is the command to connect to the server, because all the other IRC commands that we talked about, join and part and message and slash me, they all work. So the first thing that we need to do is connect to a server. To do that, we do slash server, the name of our server, irc.freenode.net, <coughs> and then hit enter. And there you go. We are connected to the um, Freenode server. Now, we can um, also set our nickname once we're connected, and we do this by the command nick. <coughs> by default, um, IRSSI will take your username as your nickname, but just in case, before you go to any channel, set your nickname. In this case, there you go, Nightwise. And as you can see, IRC, uh, the Freenode server does support nicks longer than eight characters. This one does. So we're going to join a room again, and in order to do that, same command, slash, join, Going to take Ubuntu. There you go. And there we are in the channel Ubuntu. Now we're going to join a second channel. Again, we are going to uh, join a second channel with the join command. As I said, you can run those commands from a chat room or from the main server window. In this case, we're going to go back to the same the main server window. And in order to do this, you're going to press escape and then one. As you can see, you can navigate the different windows as we did with the tabs up top on MIRC, but this, uh, with this program, you just have to use the numeral keys uh, and escape. So escape one is your terminal window, escape two is your first chat window. If we're going to join a second chat window, we're gonna go back to the server window, join hash, Linux, for example. There you go. There is no one in hash Linux. I'm going to see. Might take a while to synchronize. No, nobody there. Slash part. Strange. Linux channel should be full. Going to go back to the server window. Ah, here it is. Um, we can't connect to the Linux channel because our nick isn't registered. On the IRC and uh, Freenode server, you can also register your nickname. So we're going to choose a different channel. So that's join. And we're going to Linux Outlaws. That's a channel out there. Enter. And here we are in Linux Outlaws. So once again, escape one is your server window. Escape two is your first chat window. Escape three is your second chat window. Escape 4 is the next chat window. As you can see, that's the way you navigate in between windows. Now, there's not much activity at the moment, but normally you see numbers popping up here. There you go. Activity 2. Now, what does that mean? That says, oh, you know, somebody is talking in chat room number 2. So, Escape 2. And there you see a join or part message. So by keeping an eye on this bottom part of your uh, window, you can see in which chat rooms people are talking. And if you send a private message to somebody, like slash msg, uh, let's see, hello, that is going to open up another channel, another room. And you can navigate to that by escape six. So below here, it will tell you in which window the activity is, and you can switch between them by escape and the numeric keys. If you want to quit uh, the program, just type, go to the server window and type quit. And that's opening and closing IRSSI, the command line interface on Linux.